Hello world, my name is Silva Draconis and welcome back to Friend Bo. In the last episode, we came down a well in search of our little Mr. Midnight and found ourselves at the hands of well, I'm not really sure yet. We we are in a bed with a cat head hat on our head. So let's get up. Wake up, friend. Huh? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty? Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Ugh. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh. I won't lay down in that thing. Yeah, probably a good idea. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Are those eyes? Ugh. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, and dry flowers. Let me see. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Okay. I got a cauldron. Hmm. A head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. They do. A painting of a teapot. With painted tea inside. With lemon and honey. Uh, anything up here? Mmm, yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flower makes me sneeze. And it is a funny feeling. I, th I thought that was that thing. King Leo's baking soda. They always make the biggest cupcakes. A pine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe it will attack me. Yeah, I suppose the last pine cones we encountered. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. Spatula. Oh, a sharp, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Oh, if you say so, man. To dry my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Alright, then. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Poor trees. I wonder if they scream all the time while they are burning. That's a bit morbid. Mr. Midnight? Those girls! They took my kitty! I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten! I like their blue dress, though. Me too. What's this? A cooker to cook! My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches, though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. I don't know why I'd want to close or open that, so I will leave that as it may. I know what pills have to say. Oh my. We're in a well. I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You are a clever little baby. You took your placenta with you. We can climb up. Oh, I can't look at that one. Eh. Look at it. Look at it! Alright. Don't look at it. Where am I going? Oh, I can't get over there. I'll need something. A plank or a wood or something. Down. Whoop. Thank you. Look at that. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? I don't know. Alright, well, let's go back. So, we need some sort of wood thing for that. Alright. Ooh, matches. I have matches to light up the darkness, or just for fun. Well, you said you didn't like matches. Well, they'd be fun. Uh, oh my god, there's so many things to click on. The bag smells funny. I won't touch it. I don't like beans that much. Salt! A very good ingredient. It smells like a weed we had in our garden. I think those are nettles. Oh, it opened! And what is that inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. <laughs> what a pretty can. I won't take somebody else's food. Not all of it, anyway. 
the same. Pepper! Always good to dress up the soup. Can I have the chili? No. If there is garlic, there are no vampires. Very true. Bay leaves, chili, garlic. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they're insects. Squirrel's body parts? I don't want to know. Neither do I. Well, I mean, I can probably assume what's in there. Oh, a dancing teddy! It doesn't have shoes. It looks like a plant. Can we open this window? The window's locked. Great. Oh, we put water in the pot. Use. There. I now have water. Hooray! Water, water in the pot. Ready to cook. Alright. And stool. I won't sit down. Alright then. Don't. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. Must be. Um, I guess let's just go in the next room, because I doubt going back will do anything. We're just in a well. Um, hmm. right. This is not my cup. The teapot has no tea at all. Sugar in many colors. Delicious and beautiful. And that cake looks absolutely yummy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I... Maybe just a little. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> she actually, it actually swiped a bit. Sweet candy. There's some more wood. Firewood and lime to be burnt. Yep. A vase to put some flowers in. It has asses inside. Okay, I have that now. I'm like half remembering all these puzzles. I don't remember why I need these things. But I need them. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. He didn't want to get his head fixed. He wanted his head on the wall. Silly me. Is that a flying pig? I don't know. I think it is. Uh, no, I want to look at the... Okay. Let's look at these girls. Hello. Their faces look familiar. I wonder if these are the twins that were back in the hospital. You guys remember that were locked in the room? A house on a lake. That's probably the one we're in. <laughs> that was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. Maybe. What does it say about the house? I forgot the what a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. A walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. It looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney. Sure, could it be okay? Yeah. Ooh, you're dead. That's a ghosty goo. That was the same girl in the picture. Hello? Who are you? Can you hear me? I'm Fran. Hello? Well, alright then. Oh, oh goodness, the smell! Poor girl, who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Jans, the Blueberry Tree, Volume 2. Antonio the Greatest! Hey! This is the ant we met, only a lot younger. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Antonio the Greatest, Lucario Moran, and the Queen of Meat. You were a band. Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Oh, try it out. Let's see. Oh, there! It works! Maybe I should keep it down. Yeah, turn it off for now. Oh, a typewriter! And it works! I guess I could write, but there is no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. Very true. Or at least an idea. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Alright. Can we go upstairs? The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. Oh, I suppose. That actually makes sense. I'll have to find another way out. Alright, well let's try these stairs. Oh. And we're up here. The sisters, they look alike. 
pink and blue, complete opposites. I has a broom! A broom to fly away! Or just to clean around. A monster who likes goats. The goat looks angry. I guess he's ticklish. Or annoyed. Red rose in a painting. Huh. Huh, indeed. Let's go in here. Oh my. This is both creepily cute and creepily, well, creepy. <laughs> to not put too fine a point on things. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I hope this never happens to me. I guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Ah, oh, these toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Yeah, no kid. Never seen Chucky. Dolls can be creepy. Mm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Oh, I have tweezers. Tweezers to pick up little things my hands can't. So many things now. I went from having like nothing to like having 50 million. Nice stuff, very girly. Some candles. White candles are everywhere. White candles? Oh, it just does the same thing. I wonder what the deal with the doll head and the roses are. Don't know. It does seem to be a running theme. Roses and dolls. I guess I'll figure it out someday. Dolls are like hollow humans. I suppose. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. And Grace has for sure put up some new sheets. I love the feeling of my sleepy head and a clean pillow. Ugh, it's that monster! And so much blood! I guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a head? I have to be careful. A mirror? But why is my reflection not there? Hello? Huh? This mirror doesn't do its job. There's a little keyhole. Maybe it's just decor. Maybe. Alright. I don't do that. Bad. No. Can I reach it? Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Ooh, it's dark. Let's, let's shed some light on the subject. From the toys in the attics always carry sadness with them. It's very understandable. I wouldn't like to be abandoned in the attic. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? Weird stuff you can find in an attic. Agreed. I like my own dresses, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Huh. Just one hat. Oh. That's creepy. Boxy, oh no! I wish I could take you out of here. What is their problem? Poor Foxy Foxy. Oh, shoes. Those shoes are too big for me. That is for sure. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? <laughs> oh, hello, little babies. Who suits you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, alright? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. I'm sorry. Oh, God. No, they won't stop crying. Okay, let's stop. Right, let's see about this. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Meow. Um, Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Hey! Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. 
Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Uh, I think we did, yeah. Because Mr. Midnight was telling us to go to the maze. Yes, yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. Oh, well, all right then. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. I'll be back, Mr. Midnight. Ah, stop it, Ghosty Goo. No. Oh my. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is in just the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Uh... What are you saying? Sorry, but I can't make any sense of what you're saying. Fran Bo, that is your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down! How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. I'm trying to, like, do different voices and for... I, I don't... I'm trying to see... I don't know who and who is talking, because that's the same arrow, but I'm guessing that one's more positive and one's more... not. <laughs> Thank you, but really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? A little? It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back. Yes, please, I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came to the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I met a door, and the door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antoine's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl in the family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Uh... 
No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot. You asked for it. We don't do what we ask for. Bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. No, please. I'll do whatever you ask for. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, the magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old lo- I, I wanted to read that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself! We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you're like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend an eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. This sounds very scary, but I guess I'll have to do it for my kitty. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's what I get for being rebellious. Let's see this recipe. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burnt body of a fox. This must be all cooked together inside a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you are able to about to drink the potion, repeat the words kasagi makaburi ibur firam firam. I don't know if any of that was pronounced correctly, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay. Well, things have turned a bit dire. We are now stuck here in this house at the mercy of two girls who did not used to be two girls. But we will escape. We will free our kitty and we will get out of here. And I also need to be more careful about how I choose my dialogue. Maybe I would have been able to talk to Mr. Midnight if I wasn't so brash. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!